the stuff. Uh, it is. Is 223 in operational condition? She needs, the last time we had her an estimate for repair and it was in 2006, she needed $3 million. Oh my. So that's obviously going up. The boiler is completely shot, steam chest is shot, lots of work. So it's just a show now? Yeah, and we're going to be uh, working on her later this year. And, uh, returning her to a better state condition. That's awesome. We're going to even build a uh, walkway so you can go up and look at the cab and stuff. Excuse me. Let me climb down and you can hand me your camera and then you can climb down. Uh, we just backed into There we go. Towards three beds. Yeah. Thank you. Get my thumb out of there. So the roundhouse, of course, did locomotives. This building does all the uh, freight and passenger cars. Brewing box cars that be painted about every 12 months or so, metal ones about every 18 months. Now each of these uh, bays you have. Wow. Look, Look at that. There's nine bays over here. When you think of the weight of all A that silver weight, meteor box car. Nine, nine bays. The amazing thing about this building is This 1950s? This no, no, she's actually 1934. You see the construction date? She was built in Jacksonville by Bessemer Stanley. She was based in Jacksonville. She was built in Bessemer, Alabama. Oh. Built by Coleman Stanley. Poster shop, electrical shop. As well as the pretty press. You got the uh, Fruit Growers Express refrigerator car from 1927. Of course, you put ice in both ends. That's very cool. Our caboose is from 1922, built by the Central of Georgia in our shop in Macon. That is really cool. So, um, like, so where I live in St. Dennis, uh, Maryland, uh -huh. um, CSX. That horrible river. Um, <laughs> that CSX brought in on the local um, a ex Operation Lifesaver caboose on the local for nice. a few weeks, months. Mm -hmm. um, really cool. Uh, I said we get to see, got to see that. We've got a couple speeders over here. Those trolleys back there are the last remaining original Savannah streetcars. We used to have tracks running through the streets downtown. They shut that system down in 1946. Oh, are you going to restore them? That's the plan. Uh, just there's no money for that at the moment, so we're keeping the bodies in here out of the weather till we can get to that. I like these kinds of little railway museums. How there's just so much stuff. Oh yeah, we always goes on. Is that that looks like a coil car right there? That is a scale test car. What is that? Like what? Um, are, 
existing You know, just like on the highway, you see the signs for uh, the trucks to go get weighed to make sure they're not too heavy. You have to test uh, rail cars sometimes to make sure they're not overloaded. So they have a big scale for that. This car was built to weigh exactly 80,000 pounds or 40 tons, so they put that on the scale to make sure the scale's accurate. Uh, she went out of service last December. The modern scales can be calibrated by satellite. They don't need the cars anymore. Wow. Uh, CSX gave us this car, but it originally ran with the uh, L and M, and then the Seaboard, and then CSX. Yes, this is it's just all breathtaking. How you're what's, what's great about this building? I don't know if you heard her. We're actually on the second floor. Really? Yeah. This is a two-story building. All the rail cars are up top. And to put that in perspective, this boxcar empty still weighs 20 tons. We could fit 36 20-ton boxcars up here. Jeez. Yeah, right here you see there's a freight elevator. There's two freight elevators, one here, one on the back wall. And if you want to see the first floor, it's a little hard to see. Uh, they retired it last year, so we got uh, it. It is just like big semi trucks go off the highway. She weighed the weigh station, Interstate Highway. Wow. They had to weigh the freight rail cars as well. So this is calculated. So this, what is this again? Uh, the this is actually a flat cars. car from 1950. Uh, right we built this flat car in 2005. It in here because it's made to mimic the, the 1878 passenger car. car. That's really cool. They have an individually it's right. actually right. starting to wrap up. Individually, mm -hmm. pound weights, one by one, and load them on the pallet. Took two more lanes to do it, but they did get that job done one way or the other. One last thing. Got it. Yep. All right, don't go.